everyone welcome to Deepika makeup hope you all are doing super awesome so today's video is going to be a haul video and it's been a very long time that I actually did a haul and that is because if you don't already know I'm pregnant and almost towards the end of my pregnancy so it's been very difficult for me to go and shop for myself and I've mostly been doing online shopping these days and it's either pregnancy or postpartum or for my baby so before we move on to this haul excuse me for my hair if I leave it's very bushy if I put it up in a pony all my baby hair is coming up I don't know what's happening with my hair today so let's just leave it there and let's continue with the haul so the first one I have here is this dress from uh, this website called saris.com they have everything Indian uh, dresses Indian saris different price ranges and for different occasions even for men and they have jewelry and all that stuff so actually a very good website if you are looking to shop for any Indian things and if you want them to get it shipped to USA they have free international shipping also the best part is they also have stitching services so if you are um, making a purchase uh, of a sari and if you want to get your petticoat fall and blouse stitch you pay a little extra give your measurements and they will stitch and send that to you this time I got this beautiful dress it's this cream netted material and it has this beautiful orange embroidery and a little bit of uh, rhinestones for that uh, extra bling so I actually got this um, to wear for my maternity photo shoot or for my baby shower but it just didn't happen um, I should have get it stitched from the website itself but my measurements are all so messed up right now that I didn't want to take chance so I thought I'll find a tailor here and get it stitched but I couldn't find a tailor here so when I get this dress stitched I will sure do a get ready with me video showing you the entire outfit but this is such a gorgeous piece and um, it also comes with lining as well so you don't really have to buy anything additional for this outfit you just have to get it stitched and that's pretty much it I think the stitching charges for this was around like thousand rupees or something I, f I feel really sad that I couldn't wear this dress but this is such a gorgeous gorgeous outfit I really like the color combination and it looked really beautiful on the website as well and uh, it looked exactly the way it was shown on the website so I was really really happy and the so. next one I have here is a charm bracelet and this is from sofield.com and I got to pick the charms that I want and they actually send me this bracelet so uh, first of all let's take a moment and appreciate the packaging because when you order it it just comes ready to give it as a gift so it's just beautiful and it also comes um, well cushioned inside so it's it's a great presentation for your bracelet so coming to the bracelet it's a gorgeous charm bracelet I love charm bracelets and I really like the quality of each and every charm and also the bracelet so um, I actually got all these uh, charms keeping my son who is soon to arrive uh, the first one I have here is a stopper with chain and the first charm I have here is a little boy and it says sun and the next one I have here is a little heart which has a uh, tiny feet on it and the next one I have here is a birthstone charm and uh, the green one is for May and my son is going to arrive in May so that's the reason I went with that one and the next one I have here is a Hamsa hand and I kind of forgot what it really means but it has some meaning and I always wanted to uh, have that charm and the next charm I have here is something that I always wanted um, and it's a rose gold evil eye uh, charm it's so so beautiful and it's very well made and I love the quality of it and the last charm I have here is um, kind of like a stopper which says boy with uh, blue rhinestones on it so, so that's the bracelet really good quality as you can see and also this bracelet is going to have a special place in my heart and also in my collection and also I would like to mention that they make personalized charms as well so if you send your picture to them they will make a locket or a charm for you with your picture on it I think that's a very beautiful personalized gift so yeah, if you're willing to make your uh, bracelet, I will leave the link to this website in the description box below and also a coupon code. And moving on, I have a lot of gift boxes from Dollar Tree. I fell in love with these gift boxes, so I just picked a few. I can use this to uh, decorate on top of uh, vanities and also I can use this to pack some gifts as well. So the first thing I have here is this beautiful round box with elephant on it so pretty next ones i have here are this beautiful floral ones one is in yellow and pink and other one is in blue so 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 pretty right 
And finally, I have two more boxes and look at the pattern and the way they are made. And these are just like dollar. These are made of cardboard, but they are very, very sturdy as well. And I really like the glittery pattern on these boxes. So that's that. All right, moving on, I have just one lipstick from Sephora. And I also picked up my birthday gift in April. If you are signed up to their uh, Beauty Insider program, uh, basically it's their points program. If you are signed up to that, you can get your uh, birthday gift as well throughout the month uh, of your birthday. So the things that are in the birthday gift uh, is a Marc Jacobs uh, eyeliner. Oh, the print is too small. It's a black eyeliner from Marc Jacobs and also a lipstick uh, it's a little lipstick and it's in the shade kiss kiss bang bang i already have a full size of this one really 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 beautiful color for every day it's like a pinky uh, brown color it's amazing and the formula of mark jacobs lipsticks is really beautiful i'm not really impressed with their shade range but some shades are really beautiful i also picked up a lipstick from mark jacobs again and this is in the shades Jedor. I had my eye on this uh, for a long time and it's a straight up brown and it looks really natural on me so that's that. So I have two products that I got for my uh, pregnant belly. So in the beginning of my pregnancy I was sure that I was going to get uh, stretch marks because my skin is prone to uh, stretch marks so I got the Palmer's cocoa butter and I didn't really like the scent of it and I just stopped using it ask my doctor um, if she can recommend anything from the drugstores and she just said Aquaphor or even Cetaphil or Eucerin or stuff like that. So I went for Aquaphor and it has been working very well. So basically I was looking for a moisturizing cream so that my skin doesn't feel dry and also uh, that would retain the elasticity of my skin so that my skin doesn't get stretch marks. So I was fine with Aquaphor and coconut oil throughout this time but at 37 weeks just about a week ago um, I noticed that there are slight stretch marks creeping on the sides of my belly and I immediately ordered these two this is Mamma Mio uh, the tummy rub oil I knew about this previously but I thought I would never need it so I just didn't order but um, yeah along with this I also saw this in the recommendations on Amazon it's Birth Peace Mamma Bee belly butter it's with shea butter and vitamin E and uh, I love these two products and I think I'm going to continue this postpartum and I'm going to continue this belly butter even longer because absolutely love it it's very natural and mild and i really like how it feels on my skin and i think the mama mio oil is actually working on uh, fading the recently formed stretch marks which i'm really happy and i really like the mild scent and also how this oil feels on my skin it immediately blends into the skin and it feels amazing so i really really like these two i will leave the links for you guys in the description box below if you're willing to order and i would recommend this especially even uh, for regular use i mean it's very mild and it feels so good and we are relying on birds bees a lot these days because we got a lot of uh, clothes and also some skincare for my son from birds bees so that's that and moving on I have some haul from Walgreens so a couple of days ago I made a trip to Walgreens I mentioned on my snapchat though um, and it was such a big fail I went to three different Walgreens and two or three different CVS stores to find the things that I wanted which are Jordana liquid lipsticks those uh, sweet cream liquid lipsticks I didn't even see any trace of um, uh, what do you call the display at my Walgreens and I also wanted um, those liquid eyeshadows that came along with that collection couldn't find also wanted to get the milani metallic uh, liquid lipsticks couldn't find them either and i also wanted to get the highlighters that uh, wet n wild released in a limited edition collection with that flowers on it i don't really know the name of the collection though but the highlighters were so beautiful couldn't find those either so i was very disappointed with Walgreens and CVS trip this time. I can't make any more trips in the next four weeks to uh, drugstores so I'm just gonna search around online and try to order them. But while I was there I picked up a few things and the first things are nail polish and this one is from the Simple Colors Kylie Jenner collection and this is called Curves or Curves I don't know <laughs> and uh, it's like a lavender blue with a bunch of uh, silver sheen or shimmer in it. 
so that's the first one and uh, i also thought of picking another one which was blue which was very similar to this one but i remembered i already had a shade like that in julia so i gave up on that and that's the beauty of having a small collection i'm really happy i decluttered my nail polish collection because i am now able to recognize the colors i have and much more happy actually so that's the first one the next one i have here is also from sinful colors sinful shine and this is apparently a very popular shade these days and this is called prosecco prosecco it's a grayish taupe color with some um, gold uh, shimmer in it it's actually really beautiful so can't wait to paint my nails with this one and then i also have this revlon nail polish and i believe this is limited edition this is called daydreamer yeah daydreamer and it's this really beautiful lavender color with some gold and purple shift to it right when i saw i thought this would be very sheer but surprisingly um it's better than what i thought uh, it would be i think it's going to go opaque in two or three coats and even if it's sheer i can put a lavender base underneath and make it work or even i can put a black nail polish and put this on top to do that dual chrome shift and then i also picked up a face powder and this is maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder in 230 natural buff i already have a foundation and i'm going to put that to use in summer because that's when it's going to match me so i also got the powder which will go with it and then i got two cleansers from ole it was on 20% uh, off and also i had like 3 dollar off coupon so i got both these for just like 7 or 8 dollars so the first one i have here is ole regenerist uh, luminous brightening foaming cleanser and uh, i really like foaming cleansers so i went with this one and then i also got ole regenerist advanced anti aging uh, cleanser and it has exfoliating beads in it so uh, that's the next one finally i have some products from biore and uh, this one i recently saw i usually use the regular pore uh, strips from biore but i found these charcoal pore strips so i wanted to give them a try me and my husband use them we really like them and um, they remove whiteheads very well but i'm not really sure uh, if they work for blackheads yet because the strip is actually in black color so i'm not really able to tell if they are um pulling out the blackheads but uh, i still have to test them out and i will let you know and finally i have two biore products that octoly has sent me the first one is biore uh baking soda cleansing scrub so this is really interesting it's like a powder just like baking soda you mix it with water and you use it to cleanse and scrub your face so that's the first one and the next one i have here is biore baking soda pore cleanser i already started using it and so far i really like it so once i use all these products i will let you guys know what i think about them so that's that so that's the end of my haul if you have any questions regarding any of these products or if you want to see any reviews or up close swatches do let me know in the comments below and i will address them for you and that is pretty much it if you enjoyed this video please hit on the thumbs up button and make me happy and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and support me i will see you all very very soon in my next video goodbye